If you haven't seen it already, please take some time. You can come on here and search um, the interview that Sim Simone Biles has been did. Um, and all I'm going to say is just look it up. All I'm going to say is if I was married to a man who said the things that he said about her kind of describing how they first met and everything and how he's the catch and she snagged him. I would literally disintegrate into thin air. My pride, the woman I am today, my confidence, I could never allow myself to be seen with that man in public ever. How do you not like, okay, I'm not into sports. I don't watch any of the sports, not now one of them, but somehow I still know who Simone Biles is. I know that she is um, probably one of like the top five athletes in the world has to be. Him, on the other hand, I still don't know who the fuck he is. I don't know what he does. Wouldn't recognize him out in public unless she was with him. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is this is the internalized misogyny that I struggle with. Let me be honest with you. I would rather, okay, wax my legs with fresh lava from a volcano than to ever initiate any kind of date or romantic relationship with a man. And and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Carol, I know you met your husband back in the day and you walked up to him and y'all have been married for 27 years happily. I love that for you. I am not mad at you, but I ain't gonna do it. I'm not initiating a damn thing. I am a raging feminist, but I also will never, ever propose to a man and she didn't she didn't do that but I would never propose to a man I'm not initiating no dates I'm not you know going the distance to go see a man because he shared that um, she would drive a long ways to go see him absolutely not um, you can call me whatever you want internalized misogyny okay I'll, I'll take it but I will never initiate anything with a man because there's tons of ways that a man can embarrass you. But one of those ways that I'm going to just remove from the list is my man going on somebody's fucking podcast talking about how I bagged him and I reached out to him. And if it wasn't for me reaching out to him, he would have never gave me a chance. I would literally like the scene in what was it the end game where uh spider-man just disappeared that would literally be me i could never i don't oh my gosh simone biles deserves so much better i don't I just oh my god like wow